Well, it's a beautiful day today, and I can't believe I'm even going to say this, but we are waking up on a luxury private island at a multi-million dollar mansion in Nova Scotia. That blows my mind to say. So, I say we because I do have another half, Anna. She's around here somewhere. This place is so big, I lost her, but I will find her. I also have on a nice white robe, mainly because we have ropes. So I know some of you clicked on the video uh, probably because you want to see this place. So make sure to check out the last video. We did a full on villa tour, but we need your help. If you click the like button, that's going to help get the video out there. And plus, heck, hey, if you want to stay at a multi-million dollar mansion on a private island in Nova Scotia, just hit the like button anyway. I'm on my phone right now because I can't find Anna. So I thought I'll, I'd text her. It seems weird to text her when we're in the same place, but I actually don't know where she's at. So see if I can uh, find her and hopefully she has her phone with her. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So she's, no wonder I can't find her. She's down at the beach. There's a private beach on this on this island as well. I know, it all sounds very over the top, but yeah, I was checking all the rooms. I was wrong. Okay, I'm just on my way to find her down at the beach here, but I just wanted to point out that it's not every day that we get to do something like this, like stay at a luxury private mansion on an island. Obviously, that's not what we do all the time, but because of our jobs, sometimes we get to do really unique and interesting things. And this is one, <laughs> this is one of those things that it's just, over the top and we're so thankful and grateful to get to do this but take a look at this there's an apple orchard now that's not something we come across every day let alone when you're on a private island there she is found her you found me <laughs> i was hiding just what are you kidding. up to down here i'm just enjoying reading in the sunshine oh my goodness it's so nice out i don't know if everybody watched the last video but it was really really windy today is perfection. If you guys are wondering what today's video is all about, we're really going to take advantage of being on this island, living the luxury life for a day, showing you what it's like. There's so many amenities here, so we really want to take advantage of everything. You know what we didn't tell them? What didn't we tell them? They can rent this place oh, if they yeah. want. Oh <laughs> yeah, you guys can actually come and stay here. You can either rent the individual rooms, you can rent the houses individually, the wings individually, or you rent the entire island. Actually, in the last video, we gave you a full tour of the entire premises, all the rooms. So go back and check that out. It's got all the prices and all the things that you'll be interested in. To be completely honest, in the past, I feel like Nova Scotia has really not been a luxury destination. There really wasn't that many options for luxurious homes or hotels. It's definitely coming along in places like this. Like this is the top of the top. If you like luxury destinations and luxury hotels and luxury villas, yeah. this is for you. Yeah, I really don't think there's much architecture like this in Nova Scotia, huh? Now it reminds me of something maybe in Napa Valley, like a winery estate yeah. or something like that. It's just so grand looking. <laughs> so as you can probably imagine, when you come to a place like this, it really inevitably means you're going to be eating a lot of really amazing food. <laughs> so uh, stick around to later in the video because we have a personal chef coming over to the island to cook us an amazing dinner. Yeah, you, you heard that right. Yeah, but that also means we really need to get some exercise <laughs> before that happens because we're probably going to be consuming a lot of calories today. Yeah. Take a look at these rocks here. We just kind of come across these. So this island is bigger than you think. I'm not sure if you can tell uh, from the air when we have the drone up, but what a beautiful, beautiful spot. It's just as amazing here on the ground as it is from the sky. All right, look at this. <laughs> We're basically on, the, there's a walking path here on the island and we just came across a picnic table. We should have brought our lunch with us. Wow. Wow, look at this view. This is amazing. So for those of you that are new around here, you might not know that we travel pretty much full time or almost full time. And one of our <laughs> biggest challenges is always trying to fit in exercise, yeah. be in a new place or it's a travel day, trying to get work done and also explore. It's always <laughs> such, such a challenge. I'm sure any of you that are watching that travel, even if it's just a few times a year, can relate to that. It's always hard to get the exercise in when you're on the road and you just end up eating more food. So because we are on the road pretty much 
all the time. We just kind of have to balance it out. But you said uh, for those that are new, so uh, for you guys, Trevor, Anna, delightful travelers, thanks for clicking on the video. Hit subscribe to follow along on the adventures and uh, all the people that are not new. Nice to see all you guys again. I can say that it does make it easier when the places you're staying are like this and have these beautiful groomed walking paths with amazing views. Yeah, this is uh, this is crazy. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look, really feel like exercise. All these trees, like they're all there's all these different kinds of trees. Yeah. It's very green. The water looks amazing. Yeah. So almost <laughs> tropical looking. Almost. This whole area of the island reminds us a little bit of the Mediterranean. It just feels very exotic. It's well groomed path. There's so many different kinds of trees, but now we're getting through the path and we're getting a little closer to the water. What a spot, huh? <laughs> I know, I literally can't get over the views. It's just from every, every spot on this island. It's beautiful. <laughs> and in the last video, it was a lot windier out there. It was so windy in the last video, which is not typical for around here. I think this is more of a normal day. So our exercise is done and we figured just because we have a Japanese tub back there and a sauna this way, why not use them? Plus, what better way to relax after you exercise? Did you get the tub going yet? Oh, <laughs> there we go. But I think sauna first. All right, let's see how hot or not hot the sauna is. How's it feeling? Oh, I think it's ready. I think it's ready, but you guys cannot come with us. So we're gonna relax here for a little bit longer, but we've certainly worked up an appetite and we hear there's some pretty impressive snacks waiting for us upstairs, so let's go. Well, look what we got. <laughs> full on charcuterie board for definitely more than two people. There's a lot on here and it's just the presentation of it in general makes me feel spoiled. There's a lot of that going on today. It's totally acceptable for lunch, <laughs> right? To eat charcuterie? Because that's what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. Honestly, charcuterie is the best and we don't do this nearly as often as we should. And I say this, and this was prepared for us, so. <laughs> <laughs> but charcuterie is one of my favorite things. And for those of you that may not be familiar with it, it's usually just a spread of a bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. So we have crostini, we have a couple different types of like cured meats, I think one maybe a pepperoni, a whole bunch of different cheeses, some dippy things. <laughs> There's almost too many things to name. Look at this little guy. I'm sure it won't come into focus, but it's a little ball of Parmesan cheese. It's like, like a little Parmesan cheese puff. Or something. Like a little cheese puff. So I put together a little crostini. They have pickled onions with dill on them, which are honestly the yummiest thing ever. And I think I have Swiss cheese on there. Hold on, hold on, wait. Are we we should cheers these, we should cheers these. Cheers. Cheers to living the luxury life for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that watched the last video, you might recall that we took the boat over to the town of Mahone Bay. Today we are going out in the boat to explore the actual, I guess, bay part of Mahone Bay. And you can see the lodge at Strum Island directly behind us. One of the benefits of being here on a private island is that you can go out and explore on a boat. Isn't that a cool view of this place from yeah, here? <laughs> wow. But look at this. Right out here in the bay. Mahone Bay is way that way. You won't see it right now, but this is uh, really cool. So we're just a few minutes in here and we're coming across a little tiny island called West Haver and you can see this lighthouse on it. It's very small, but look at all the wildlife around here. So most of what we're seeing are cormorants, but there is one seal kind of hiding out. <laughs> So we're back out here with uh, Anthony, we'll call him Skipper Anthony, he's giving us a tour of Mahone Bay and we just got to talking and you said how many islands are here in Mahone Bay roughly? There's roughly 365 islands in the bay. That's crazy. One yeah. for every day of the year. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so there you go, if you guys are coming, you can well, spend a year here and have an island. <laughs> it's kind of neat because we keep coming across all these beaches, I guess, and you can only get to them by boat but there's so many of these all right we just made a little pit stop because there's an island behind us that's well maybe some of you know a little more than all these other islands because there's too many to name as we are but even ours. if you're not from nova scotia you may have heard of this island right here mm -hmm. it's oak island oak island so maybe some of you don't know what that means but i think a lot of you do it's believed somewhere on that island there's some treasure yeah they've been trying to find it for years and years <laughs> Never had any luck. Some people think it's there and some people think maybe there was treasure there, but it's gone now. So I, I think you can tour the island, but there's like a year or two year waiting list. So we're not going to be looking for treasure today, but it's it's kind of neat because from the angle, we're kind of close. You can see like the, one of the cranes, I guess, and you can see they're, they're doing some construction, clearly trying to find, find some treasure. Yeah. We're going to maybe have to go on this waiting list and 
see if we can, what, what do you think, it's gold or jewelry? Could be. Okay, right. We found it ourselves, maybe we can buy ourselves our own private items. <laughs> so two years from now on the channel, if you guys stay subscribed, you'll see us looking for some treasure on that island. All right, thank you very much. No problem. Thanks for the tour. We appreciate it. Pick up the chef. All right, did you hear that? He's going to pick up the chef. That was so much fun, you guys. It's the first time we ever got to see Mahome Bay from at least that viewpoint, anyway. And we got to see Oak Island. But you heard what he said a private chef or personal chef is coming a little later. But first, we're going to show you something else, another little part of the island. Well, let us officially welcome you to the hot tub area of the island. And yes, it's just as over the top as it looks on the screen right now. It's right on the back edge of the island overlooking the ocean. We have views all around, so cheers. Cheers. We have our Nova Scotia beverages. We do. Cheers with. Which, what do you have, by the way? I have a Blue Lobster Pink Lemonade, which is a vodka drink. Yeah, we're trying to keep it within Nova Scotia. I have uh, Breton Brewing from Cape Breton and Island Time. Nice, easy drinking lager to round out the day. It's perfect. Yeah. We're in the shade a little bit. Yeah, it's a hot day and we're in a hot tub. <laughs> but you can't come to a place like this and not use this amazing hot tub. So I know. Back to kind of living at a luxury private island for 24 hours. We're, we're going to take advantage of the amenities. It, it yeah. only makes sense. But we should talk a little bit about how hot tubs in Nova Scotia are, are all the rage right now, aren't they? They really are. It seems like every Airbnb and every rental, uh, everybody wants a hot tub. Yeah, wherever and they go to stay. probably because of the cooler weather. Today is not one of those. It's in the 30s. Yes. But yeah, when it's a little cooler, people want hot tubs. But you guys tell us in the comments below, ha have you ever seen or found a hot tub as epic as this? Yeah, like this is a wood, a wood hot tub, it's like almost wood. like with a barrel. I don't know what you Yeah, and it's wood as. fire based wood fire, as well. Yeah. And it's on the kind of edge of this private island. So let us know. Yeah, I think you can easily fit, what, 10 people in here? <laughs> yeah, it's probably bigger than it looks. But yeah. we'd be curious if you know uh, of some good epic hot tubs in Nova Scotia. Leave a comment. But we thought we'd show you this because this island just keeps getting better and better. And speaking of that, well, it's time to eat very soon. And you heard us talk about what's happening. We have a personal chef coming in. Yes, it's crazy as it sounds, and we're gonna take advantage of that as well and go eat some yummy food. So we're just now in the kitchen, and uh, the chef over here, this is Chef Dave, we'll introduce you in just a moment, but the smells in here, you guys, are out of this world. Hi there, I'm Chef Dave, and today we're gonna be cooking a vertical pear salad. We're gonna be doing a um, rack of lamb with garlic mashed potatoes and vegetables and berry napoleons for dessert. If you like this and you want to find out more about me, you can find me on Facebook at Chef David Home. Oh, look at that. You're you're like a complete natural. I can already tell. <laughs> <laughs> so we are starting with a salad course. So there is salad, and then there is this, which is essentially a work of art. This is a pear salad. It's made inside the pear. You can see uh, there is arugula. I think some sort of cheese. I'm not quite sure what kind. Walnuts. Wow, it looks amazing. Maybe some honey over the top? It almost looks like a little hamburger, but it, instead of meat, there's salad, and instead of bread, there's pear. All right, the main course has arrived. We have a rack of lamb. Just look at that. Ooh, I wish you guys could smell this. It's covered in some blueberry sauce and, and blueberries. Carrots, some green beans, some potatoes. I've got a piece cut already. Haven't had uh, some lamb in a very long time. I think it looks very tender. Cook the way I like it. Let's just go for it. That meat just melts in your mouth. I know I say that a lot, but the amount of flavor in that is out of this world. It's like a smack across the face with flavor. The blueberries, look at the blueberries. That just adds to it. There are some carrots, green beans, and potatoes. You all know what those taste like. I'm not gonna go into that, but it's, it's that rack of lamb. How does he do that? I don't know how the chef does that. Chef, so, so good. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that out loud, but this is out of this world and I think there's still another, I think there's another course on the way. So we have moved on to our very last course, which of course is a dessert. Chef Dave calls these Philo Napoleons. It's basically Philo pastry. We've got whipped cream, white chocolate, and raspberries. Oh my. This sounds terrible, doesn't it? This is another of those dishes that it feels wrong to eat it because it's just so pretty, but you have to because it sounds delicious. Ooh, oh, do you hear that? I hear that. Oh, I just ruined it. 
<laughs> like a nice crackle. We're just gonna make a mess of this, but it's pile. okay. <laughs> That is incredible. It's honestly the perfect summer dessert because it's really, really light, especially on a hot day. The phyllo itself, again, super, super light. You got the whipped cream and the raspberries. Oh, this is so good. Well, that was an absolutely amazing day. I think one that we're probably never gonna forget for the rest of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty special spending the day here and getting to experience I, I, a different I, side of life that we don't normally get to do. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you want to do this again? <laughs> I can, do, can I we do but can we? Maybe can we, we can. In? Maybe we can ask if we could do it again tomorrow mm -hmm. and spend another 24 hours living on a private island. And then the day after that. <laughs> yeah. Well, why not? Sure. <laughs> no. And in all seriousness, this has been so much fun. Mm -hmm. Getting to do things that we never get to do. Mm -hmm. We took you guys through all of them and we don't need to explain it again, but yeah. it's a little bit over the top here. If you want to stay here, you mm -hmm. actually can do it. You can rent the whole island. <laughs> yes, that sounds crazy. Or you can come and rent individual rooms. Yeah. We'll have details below on how to do that. Yeah, in the description below the video, you can check out their website and, mm -hmm. uh, and book it if you want to. Yeah, and we did talk about some of those prices in the last video, so make sure to go do that. If you want to watch that video, that will explain more things. But it's been so much fun. We hope you enjoyed today's video. And again, it's Trevor. And a delightful travelers, if you're new around here, if you're not new, we just appreciate all you guys watching. Hit the like button while mosquitoes bite my ear. Oh, no. <laughs> They're coming out now, but it's okay. It's very I'll, calm right now. I, I think that's why. I won't trade it for this beautiful mm -hmm. hot weather, but we got some fun things coming up after this video. Yes. So we're going to change pace quite a bit. We're coming, going from a... Uh, private island mansion to our tiny house. Yeah, so if you guys didn't know, we own a tiny house mm -hmm. and it's 285 square feet. So some of the closets in this place that we're in are bigger than our place. So we're gonna take you to that. So it's gonna be a bit, bit of a yin and a bit of a yang, a bit of a contrast there, but we're just excited to yeah. finally get back to it, huh? Yes, but before we do that, we just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone here at the mm. Lodge at Strom Island for inviting us here, yep. showing us such an amazing time. Everyone that works here, everyone we talk to has been so fantastic. The staff is awesome. Like, the staff is amazing here. <laughs> Maybe you guys can come and stay, but we're gonna sign off now. Thank you. All so much for watching. What a night. The view ahead of us right now is just out of this world. Very lovely sunset <laughs> happening right now. All right, guys, that's it. From Strum Island in Mahone Bay, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.